Hey, how you doing? It's Tommy from Stealth Auto. I'm going to teach you today really quick how you're going to install an HID kit on your car. Uh, this pretty much works across the board. doesn't matter if you have a BMW or an Audi, Mercedes, a Honda, an Acura. doesn't matter what you have. Uh, this will work for you. Um, we have here laid out what comes in our kits. We have an anti-flicker capacitor or air code cancelers as they're called. You have ballast and you have bulbs. For the vehicles who don't need these anti-flicker capacitors, then you would just have your ballast, your bulbs, the input for the ballast, the output from the ballast goes to the bulbs, and the bulbs go in the headlights. For the vehicles that do need these, these little units take power from your vehicle's wiring harness into here and give it out to the ballast. You just have to make sure that when you're installing this, the polarity, negative and positive, is done correctly. If it's incorrect, it can actually damage this product and it voids the warranty. We send instructions, just read them before you install these things. So if you're going to be installing these, you would get your vehicle's wiring harness will go into here. This connector would connect straight into your ballast. I'm going to get rid of these other halves just to clean up the clutter. And then from your ballast, these ballasts have a built-in igniter. So everything's streamlined, everything takes less space. So the out of the ballast goes to the in of the bulb. You do your male connector to your female and your female to your male. Very easy, you can't, you can't mess it up. Uh, you have your bulb here, in this case. We're doing this on an E90 headlight, so you need H7 bulb. So we have this here, I'm gonna put this back in here. You usually never wanna touch these bulbs with your bare hands, so be a little bit careful with them. You don't wanna damage something you just got. And lastly, if you have a vehicle that does not take this standard 9005, 9006 type connector, you'll see there's a little extra piece of wiring included on the harness with the bulb. This little wiring harness will allow you to fit any other vehicle's uh, sockets. So this wiring harness will go back into the connector that goes to the capacitor. And now these two male spade connectors are your connections. For in the case of this headlight, this is what we're gonna be using. So if you notice the H7 uh, bulb back here, the regular halogen one has a socket like this. This socket typically would not fit a 9006 uh, socket. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these male spade connectors and simply insert. And you'll hear a little click and it'll kind of hold it in there. You'd be inserting them into there and the bulb itself would go into the housing. And once the bulb's there, you would get the actual cap, make a little hole in it. That way this grommet will get seated in there. And the rest of these units are usually uh, either attached or zip tied or double uh, sided tape to the outside of the housing. Very easy. You'd be ready to go. And all these other connections are watertight, so you don't have to deal with any moisture getting into them. If you have any other questions about this or anything else, please give me a call or any one of our guys here. Thank you. Have a good day.